Big news north of the border where Scotland's supreme and glorious leader, sorry, First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has done a deal with the Green Party to achieve a working majority in the Scottish Parliament. Now, there she is, of course, uh, not in her military fatigues, unusually. The Scottish Parliament was actually designed originally when it was conceived to produce a minority administration. That's how it's actually supposed to work. But who can be bothered with facing votes of confidence, debating legislation and providing accountability to the Scottish people? That's such a drag. Who's got time for that? We don't have time for that in Commander Sturgeon's land. Now, I'm all for cleaning up the environment and leaving the world to the next generation in a better condition than how we found it. However, that's not really what the Green Party are all about in Scotland. They're pushing for a flurry of hard left economic policies. They want an independent Scotland and they want to stop oil exploration in the North Sea. With this deal, Nicola Sturgeon has arguably dealt another blow to the cause of Scottish independence. Because if the good people of Scotland vote to leave, not only will they struggle to achieve EU membership given their debt to GDP ratio, but their lentil munching partners in the Green Party won't let them drill for oil, the most valuable resource Scotland has, closely followed, of course, by engineering expertise, chemical science, financial services, construction, and most importantly, whiskey, tonics, tea cakes, and alpha male heartthrobs like Gerard Butler. Just me? Now, for an independent Scotland to not pursue income through potentially vast oil reserves off the coast kills the business model of the independence project altogether. And what about that wonderful Aberdeen Angus beef? The Greens will have a beef with that one. Plus, with the highest rates of drug deaths in Europe, sky-high obesity, a crisis in their health service, and with schools lecturing four-year-olds on which gender to choose, independence would, in my view, produce a poorer, more divided and inward-looking country. It would be a race to the bottom. And their new partners, the Green Party, will help them get there even more quickly.